Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we're going to carry on and actually we have a choice now where we actually go which type of mods we're going to go to. The, the one I'd like to start with would be Mechanism. So let's get started. So between episodes I've been exploring quite a bit and I actually found quite a few lost trinkets. So you can see I've got these two horseshoe ones. I've got a creepo. I think we had that last time. We've got a minus pick. Uh, these are rarity uncommon. They're not too special, this one. So you know, this one, the piggy is also. You can ride a piggy. There's not much point in riding piggies in this mod pack. Well, let's just learn all of these anyway. So <laughs> rather, than, rather than do anything, not wait, rather than waste, we can, maybe we can use it. Let's just want more of these. I think, I think I've already got Creepo already learned. So what happens if I try and do that again? Nothing, it doesn't work. So, just, so that's fine. So these two ones, we've got duplicates. And i also got a treasure bag. Now a treasure bag, let's just... Oh, there's another one here if I miss this one. A turtle shell. You can breathe underwater. That is a probably actually a very good one, especially in this world. So let's just read that one. Uh, learn that one and then we can come along uh, here what was I going to do so those are all useless things that I wouldn't just put them at the top but we'll, we'll probably put these away but I got a treasure bag now a treasure bag normally let's have a look we're up to one another right ingot here so let's right click this and then we pick up something so we got five gold 13 gold nuggets and one gold helmet now actually gold helmets are quite useful and i'm going to keep those because we can use those for um one of the mods uh decapitation mod i've actually also upgraded these chests to being um well as you can see i'll sort this one out now this is this is mostly static single items without um which are not stackable except for this sponge i found some sponges which was quite a good one these ones here are mostly stackable items, except for beds. Um, as you can see, I think we haven't got many down there. So I actually have got an enchanted apple and got a crate of eggplants and some cobblestone. All sorts of bits and pieces we've actually got from here. I even got um, a diamond paxel, which isn't too difficult to, to make. It's just, it's up, but it would be quite expensive, but it's just quite a handy one. So look at the recipe for diamond paxels. So it's a diamond axe, a diamond pickaxe, and a diamond shovel will give you a diamond paxel. So it's basically all of those three there. And it should have a reasonable amount of... This item is only for crafting exactly what we can this one here. A reasonable amount of attack damage, eight, compared to nine for, for an axe. Um, the diamond axe is the same as a stone axe, which is actually interesting too. The stone axe here. Oh. This one is the is a, of course this one is a um, a tinker's construct axe can't use the standard ones, so that's those are those items and I haven't got any space for that one. Let's have a look. Have we got any space in here? So we'll just chuck this stuff up in here, like that I think, and then we can put the gold away in here. I'm trying to keep my inventory reasonably clean. I also made some grass blocks. Well, they were for, they were for upstairs when I've up here we can actually have a look on the mini map now if we do control and m you'll see we've actually got cows on the mini map and there was a pig but the pig obviously got hit by lightning let's have a look because he turned into a zombie pig one <laughs> helpful but not <laughs> i only got one pig so that wasn't too much of a problem so right now let's get on with mechanism here we can make a bio generator. So a bio generator is redstone and this infused red, uh, alloy. That was iron and redstone, I think, in the infuser. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, iron and redstone. You can actually use enhanced redstone. So I missed that one. But in run, it just put redstone through the uh, metal infusion. You'll get enhanced. We'll do that in a second, actually. And then you've got the basic control circuit, which is osmium and redstone, like this one gives you one of these we may i've actually made these before and you get them as rewards or you get them from loot chests and the last one of these is biofuel so biofuel you can make that in the crusher we made a crusher so i've just been shoving some stuff in actually nether warts are pretty good on there's 20 there's 20 pages of recipes here so you can put in roses which is or pickles sea pickles which you've got quite a few of oh, what's this one okay hay bales don't Need to do that one there's lots of things you can put in here this one's actually another one now we get quite a lot another one um and if we don't get a lot we can easily make some so there we have 
that. So that is fairly straightforward to make. Can we make the biogenerator? And the next one up here was to make the enrichment chamber. Now the uses of the enrichment chamber, if I look at here, the enrichment chamber, you can obviously use it to make craft other higher up items, a basic enrichment factory, uh, and a purification chamber and a pressurized, these all come into play later on. But what you can do with this, actually there's 26 recipes with this. So for example, here you've got polished black stone, you can do it to crack, it just converts things to various things. But the one that was actually interesting me, interesting me was things like dust. You can do certis quartz to pure certis quartz. That's actually, you don't get double. That's a bit of a shame. This is probably just a quick way to convert things into that. So well, the one I actually wanted to look was for diamonds. And here you get these enriched, enriched ones. So you can put, for example, redstone in this. And the enriched redstone will, use, will produce a lot more redstone in the machine. And the same with the diamonds, than using a diamond. But we'll come across that sometime. So I can just find it here. So that one diamond dust you can compress into one diamond. Or you can even take a diamond chunk and put that into here. Actually, that I didn't think, didn't notice that you could do that one. So what I've been doing is I've been getting diamond dust. And in fact, I'm getting three diamond dust if you put it into the mechanical squeezer. Since you've got two, if you, if you just take a, di a, a diamond cluster, you get two plus 100% chance of a third one. Then you get three, basically, every time you do it. So I've got a load of that. So we can then put a... Basically, it's in here, isn't it? It's in here. No, this one. Oh, actually, I did one 32 and I got three... One stack and 32. So I've taken some of them out and I'm going to put... The, so I've got some diamond dust probably in this chest here. I didn't see it last time. If I have got it there, then I'll... Oh, yes, there it is. Look, I've got 32. So I took out 32. Oh, I've picked up a diamond sluice. Um, what I'm going to do with the diamond sluice is just take one of these and put and turn it into a netherite sluice. Like that. We'll keep the other one as a diamond sluice because diamond sluices don't require power. Netherite sluices do. And one of the ways I've thought about this, I was going to talk about doing whether or not we could do a a solar generator would work down here. They're actually very cheap. The recipe for this is three solar panels, infused alloy, and an energy tablet. We did the energy tablet last night. It's just three gold and about four redstone and a couple of a couple of iron ingots. And then you can um, osmium and this. And the solar panels are actually just glass panes, more redstone, and more osmium ingots. And we've got stacks of those at this stage of the game, so they're pretty cheap. So I made one of those up, and I was going, okay, I'll see if we could actually get this to work. So let's go and see if we can get this to work. So let's put it down here. I need the sluice in my hand, of course. Maybe I'm in the way, just move a bit out the side here and put it down. And so we've now got this sluice. It's getting water, of course, from here. And then we can put the diamond sieve into this. We took it out before. There isn't a netherite sieve. And then we can put some materials in here. In fact, what I was going to do is, oh, actually, maybe I've already used the, all the, oh, no, it's here, look. We've got some dust. In fact, it's just about finished this, this, that one there. Well, it isn't finished now, isn't it? Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get all the dust out. Let's get this out. Put these into here. White wall doesn't work. Might do, but it's not the intention. But I'm not sure where I've got the white wall from. So this is now going to sift these in. And it's not going to go through, because this needs power. And the way we can give it power is we can actually simply put, um, I think I put it on here, a solar panel on the front. Where has it gone to? We, we just put it on the top like this. The shift click it on, do we? And then it starts to work. As you can see, this is now working, making a solar type noise. I'm surprised it's working because there's a chest above it, but it does work. <laughs> Who cares if it works, it works. So now we've got reasonable high speed with this, and I think we can then start to put sluices in. So the cost of the sluices, we can start to put upgrades into this. So there's three upgrades you can put in. At the moment it's using 90 EF per whatever. I don't know what that means, whether that's 90 EF per thing, but this is actually running, as you can see. And in fact, the power is staying, oh, it's going up slightly. It's actually staying constant. So, and we've got daylight. So what I'd normally do with this is to put on a, a, some form of 
battery uh, energy cell or whatever they're called and we can do that now I didn't take the enrichment gem I should have done uh, and that'll keep this running at night time as well and the mean for the time being we'll have to go to sleep the other thing we can do uh, let's go over here and do that now we don't need those tables is we can make some more pipes so for example if we have a look um, now at pipe oops said they have this pipe here and this is a universal pipe so if you look at the recipe for this it's basically three two of each type of the things so you've got fluid pipe energy pipe and item pipes um i have a, and a block of redstone in the middle of that so let's just make one of those up because i'm sure i've got all the bits we need i'm not sure where i put the pipes they're probably one of these probably one of these chests no they're not uh I have got them around. I'll tell you what, I'll go and find them come back in a second. Okay, so I found the pipes. I actually haven't made the energy pipe yet, so let's make some of that. Just iron blocks of redstone. Reasonable amount of redstone will give you 16 of these. Let's do that one. That should also give us a quest reward energy pipe. And then we can make this universal pipe here. So we just make six of these. So then we can actually. Oh, there's a quest as well for that one. So what we can then do, of course, with this, we can then simply replace this pipe here. Instead of having that one, we can then put this one on top of this. Let's do that. Break the water one. And then just put down the universal pipe. I've got it in my hand, which I haven't. Try again. Like that. And then we can click the flange here so we can get the tool wherever it's gone to. And I haven't got it with me. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not doing too well. Hold on a second. Well, I've, I've been putting tools away when I was exploring and I've forgotten to take them out again. So that should now start to fill this up again, as you can see. And of course, we can then take the solar panel and move it onto here. Uh, maybe I, what I'll do is probably put a battery on top of that to start with. So let, that, let that run and let's have a look at the next thing. I want to put down the um, generator this was the crusher of course and then we can put the bio the bio generator on top of this here let's do it like that and then oh i hope we can put it on top of that to be done honestly it looks like it's got an output on this side here in which case i'm going to have to remove it but what we can of course then we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make some bits uh, some pipes for mechanism because we haven't got those yet let's just put it on this is the bio generator. No, it didn't work. But yeah, we have got a wrench. Let's go and get this wrench. I've made up the wrench. It's actually called a configurator in mechanism speak. And I've got some biodiesel here. Well, not biodiesel, but some biofuel here like this. And this wrench, the configurator. The recipe for the configurator is also fairly cheap. Just infused alloy, one lapis, one energy and a stick. So we've got that one and then we charge it up. We'll put that in the charger. And then when you've got it in your hand, you press N. And then it shows you what different types you can configure. Items, fluid, gases, uh, infused types, slurries, energy, heat, empty. That'll empty one out, I guess. So this will rotate something. So what we want to do is we want to rotate. So let's just select that one. Oops, press the right button and we'll wander over here. So I should be able to rotate this the other one's got no power do i have to shift right click it no nope. i have to do it from the other side oh yes so i did it on the other side so now it should start to get power in uh, um, i don't see any coming in let's have a look at it right click it with the it's got no power does it say anything that we have to do redstone signal ignored oh of course it's not got power in it so i've got to put the fuel in it to get the power haven't i because this is the generator <laughs> Duh. Well, that wasn't very sensible was it so we could shove the we could shove biofuel in two stacks almost and that will then start to charge it up and as it charges up it'll use it generates quite a reasonable amount of power 280 fe per tick which is considerably more than um the the standard heat generator which is this one here which is also full so they're both now full 
So on top of this, we should be able to, I need to make some pipe. Let's make some pipe and, and set, lay this out a little bit better. Or cables, I think it's called universal cable in, in mechanism. So let's have a look at mechanism. Probably can use any of the pipes to be quite honest, uh, honest with you, but I think there's a there's a, a quest for it. So let's go down here. Yes, yeah, so we've got this one. Let's collect the reward for that. So what do we get? Three compressed cobblestone gravel and sand, and a random reward. Probably fill up my inventory. Three compressed gravel, three compressed sand, and a random reward, which is a remote storage module. That's actually quite good. So let's put the remote storage module away. Like that. But the rest of these we'll just use. Uh, but for the time being, if I've got space in this one here, which I haven't, I will put them somewhere else. Uh, let's put them in this chest here. Just a few bits and pieces I've got in here. We haven't looked at netherite essence either. Netherite essence, I'm getting quite a lot of it. And the uses of this, it's like one usage or two in this case. We can get 11 netherite just like that. And it's coming in really fast because I just emptied this out. At the start of this episode so i've already got 17 and it's not been very many minutes has it so let's go and put look at the the pipe and um, i was going to go back to mechanism wasn't i i'll do that once so that's completed this there's only one last quest on this page to do and then we've completed that that's going to be hard though mechanism and let's look at miss first of all of an anus and see what we've got i got an energy trash can just as a, a, a loot reward i think and that gives us the ring of the mantle, which is another nice one to get. I'm not quite sure what these do in Britannia. I have to look it up. Energy part we have completed. We get another random reward, which is a slimy mycelium mis <laughs> generator, I think that was. I'm not exactly sure. And there was another one down here, the energy, the universal pipe. And that gives us the a banner of mana, which a band of mana, which is also quite good. And these two chests are now full. <laughs> So I'm a bit stuck and I'm going to make some space for this. I'll probably upgrade this. So let's just put these two in here. So I banned the man as a way to store mana, isn't it? And this one, I don't know. We'll have to look it up what he does. Like that. In fact, I'm going to put this uh, diamond sluice back in here. I'm not quite sure what I was going to use it for. Anyway, let's carry on. So let's go back here and go and have a, now we can look at mechanism. That's all of those collected, isn't it? Mechanism. So we've done the solar panel. Well, I did it off camera, but it doesn't make much difference. And we get tertium ap apple, which is probably great. Enrichment chamber, another round reward. We get a block of, oh, a prudentium growth accelerator. And then we get a biodiesel generator, which gives us a flux point. Okay, another reason, but good rewards as it happens. So it should tell us what we need to do with terms of cables. It doesn't. Okay. There are no cables in here. Gas burning generators, osmium compressors, energy smelters. That's just a furnace, but using power. And then we've got the advanced energy cube. This is a gas burning generator. Not too much use until we've actually got some gas. So electrolyzer, see, the rest of this would be fairly straightforward. Steel casings we've made already. This one here is Actually, it's not too difficult. Gold dust, osmium dust, iron dust, and osmium dust. And then some more of these infused alloy. We'll make this electrolyte core. Electrolytic core. Anyway, so the next thing I've got these of 32 titanium. They're just basically food. Uh, and quite a decent food. So let's just put that those into this chest here. This chest I'm using as a... It's mostly for mis mystical agriculture. But I've also got these diamond masks in here which are the standard ones i think i've kept a spare set out that's because i've got a lot from the from the quests as you may have seen in this chest here we've got four sets of that lots of well, actually nine oxygen tanks three uh, diving masks and three fins which is quite good anyway carry on so the one we actually need need, need to do is the universal cable basic mechanical pipes basic universal cable and these were basically the ones that produce power that steel ingots and redstone so we get eight of these so let's just make those it's a bit of a long one well, a bit long wasn't it to get to making those but there are no as you see there's no quests completed for that so let's just break the 
metall metallurgic infuser like that and then we can put some pipe down here and you can see it starts these pipes do take power so this has got to run again to check to fill up its power but then we can start to put down the machines in a, a nicer order in fact as it gets on mechanism will use a ton of space so here we've put down the enrichment chamber which result you didn't lose its power as you can see or oh, maybe it did um no it's a mechanical confuser that didn't lose its power yeah that one so now we've got our machines down we can then start to use this from enrichment chamber so we can just put in here diamonds let's put one in and this should make a diamond for us like that hopefully have we got a diamond and I think the metallurgic infuser we've got 60 more fuel to use from these I was using wheat that's right yes uh, the crusher makes nice noises so let's shove that back into the to the de generator over here let's see where it's gone to so that's now filled up as you can see in here if we put I'm not sure which one it is I'm going to be honest let's just try it the infusion no no it doesn't go into it, it definitely goes into the enrichment chamber you put that into here we're now going to get enriched diamonds and then we the, the enriched diamond is, has its use so let's have a look at that enriched the uses of that produces 80 millibuckets of diamond essence which you then put into the mechanical into the infuser here let's have a look at the uses of that um, doesn't say there but you make so look for diamond essence here we go so diamond plus infused alloy we will make these reinforced alloys I suspect there are more uses for that one this there you are so we get the reinforced alloy we get uh, obsidian dust and that will give us reinforced refined obsidian dust these are all things that we use so if you compare this to a diamond in the mechanical enrichment chamber let's have a look at the recipes actually let's have a look at the recipes we should be able to see no that's not the one I want it's the infusion chamber I want to have a look at diamonds in here um, how do I find out diamond use so okay that's that tells our item to infuse so maybe I do need to look at them mechanically infuser and have a look at what recipes it can do for diamonds in here so it's hard to actually see I think it's only like sort of I think it's much less so these are how you get up the how you're actually upgrading all of these machines a lot of this is done in a mechanical infuser I'll tell you what I suppose the easiest way to do that since we've now got a let's make another diamonds worth and let's put it in so that was 80 because we're going to have to make some of these later on anyway so we'll do that so one diamond let's put this into the metallurgic infuser should oh i can't put it in okay i can only put the enriched ones let's go and have a look at the same with the redstone because we know we can do redstone in there oh maybe i have to put the dust in we'll try that anyway we'll get some redstone out of it we want two don't we one for the end to be enriched and the other one as standard so in the enrichment chamber let's just put in one I'm just using the mouse button here to scroll up by the way and that puts it straight in and so this will give us an enriched redstone and the uses of the enriched redstone will produce 80 millibuckets so let's put one of these into the met metallurgic infuser here so let's put the diamond in uh, sorry the redstone in, and we get 10 so the same one here will actually give us 80 times more so now we've got 90 as you can see and I think that we could actually put one of these in but it won't, it won't let me put it in for the time but now I can't put it in this one I should be able to put in but oh no, I can't put it in because it's got stuff into here so then you've got to run some iron or some osmium through it and then we'll see that so that gives you eight times the usage which is a great way of saving materials especially diamonds but diamonds are less of a problem now because I'm, I'm getting quite a few from sieving um, 
Oh, we're getting quite a few from sieving and a moment you can see I've got none in here but I'm not sieving gravel at the moment I was just sieving dust which gives us redstone um, and then excess stuff as I said before comes into here so you can see the 30 quartz is actually full so we then have to go and upgrade the surface the 30 quartz this one here is 1024 as you can see that's already full so we need to upgrade that but I'll do that at my own time off camera so to speak I think I actually made some to be honest with you some because I need to upgrade something else as well as a nine as sometimes hard to, they don't always go and sort in the way you'd like things to sort so I've got illumination here now I've got a redstone one which came from a reward of some description um, no not sure Probably best make some. Actually, I could make some up while I'm here. Let's look at the use of these. And let's put. I would like to make an. Uh, let's make some storage upgrades. We've probably got enough emeralds actually. So let's just do that again. The last one. So this there with the those. I've got any emeralds with me. I've got. I've got plenty of emeralds. And I have been, no, not in there. They must be in this chest at the back here. Yeah, see, I've got 52 and another 51, and I'm not using too many emeralds. So let's just take out about six, and then we can make three upgrades for those. Try that again. So the ray right at the bottom of this, we can do use these. And it's the third page down, so we can shift click those into place, and that will give us three. So I can then upgrade those to. They actually give you storage time for 30 times, 32 times as much. And what I'm going to do is just upgrade this circuit scorch one for the time being, like that. And then this stuff we can then take it out of here. It's all standard circuit scorch, and we can then simply right click this, and that'll take it out and put it into here. So we now got. 11.28. So as, as these things fill up, I'm going to have to start doing that. But I reckon that 32 stacks of certain quartz is more than enough. So we'll then put a void upgrade into that one, which is also fairly straightforward. Maybe we'll make an, uh, a seed for this stuff because obsidian seeds would probably be quite a good thing to do. I'm not sure what level they are. They're probably quite low. Three. That's dirty in essence then. And with some blocks of obsidian makes a seed, which is not too expensive. And I did make some more snow. Yes, I made the mystical agriculture seed, and you can see this is giving plenty of flowers. In here, I've, if I didn't do this last time, I've basically ripped up all of these and put all of the, the flowers into here. And the excess are in here, so I've got to upgrade these four chests. If I upgrade those with iron, uh, I can put everything in, but I'll do that again in my own time, so that's no big deal. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we'll, I will be carrying on with some more mechanism, and between episodes I'll probably just be doing some tidying up. Anyway, until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.